Well, I, I, I think something that's interesting is when we do talk about climate change, um, I think grief is, th- I think it's becoming much more common to read pieces in, in even mainstream publications that are discussing the grief that comes with it. I, I see it popping up more and more. It's not very often, but it does seem to come up more and more. But I think we, when I, whenever climate change is thrown around or discussed, a lot of it is action-based. Like we need to do these things. We have to, we have to solve this problem now because we have no time left. And I think people resist grieving because they see that as not necessarily as a defeat, but as something that's going to slow us down and complicate the situation. You know, what value do either of you see in the grieving process? I mean, what, what point is there to grieve when we're up against something that's as insurmountable as, as, as this climate crisis that we're in right now? I think that's a brilliant question and the crux of our program. I think, I think this is incredibly important and it, Part of why we created this is because I had a position where I was working for an environmental nonprofit in Utah, and I realized that that we were operating with the same mentality that you just said, where we're like, okay, we have no time to grieve. We have to, you know, push for change up at the Utah legislature, and then it never happened. And so for three years, I worked there, and for three years, we tried to get really good bills passed to clean up our air quality because we have really bad air quality problems in Salt Lake City. And we were just defeated by Republicans who were unwilling to budge. And so I don't, what it comes down to is the fact that everybody needs a break. You know, everybody has a breaking point and we know that the activist community has higher rates of burnout than other communities. And it's because we're idealists and we want to change things and we want to see tangible changes. And the thing with climate change, ecological destruction in general, is that you can't always directly see how things change and that burns people out. And right now we do need all hands on deck. We need to be making as many changes as possible. And so if we don't stop and actually connect with our grief and connect with our feelings that are almost bigger than us and can relate us to other folks in the community, then we're going to burn out and you're not going to want to do this. You're going to fall into despair. You're not going to be able to focus on these big problems, these big existential problems that, that need some sort of solution. And so, yeah, our remedy is, Yes, it's true. We need to be doing everything in our power. We're fighting against a lot of really big problems. But at the end of the day, if you can't find resilience, you're just going to burn out. You're not going to want to do this work. You're not going to have the capacity to do this work. And so come, you know, take 10 weeks, slow down, you know, figure out how to make yourself more resilient so that you're in it for the long haul and not just for for this temporary push of action. Well, if I can be less formal about it, we all know that activist that's angry on a soapbox telling everyone what to do. I don't think that type of activist changes many hearts or minds. So sometimes people think, oh, we don't have time to feel our grief or, you know, they dismiss it as we're not going to hold hands and sing Kumbaya. But you're actually a more effective activist if you know how to take care of yourself and to feel your grief and to do the work. And that's where our program comes in is we don't want to send you out there on a soapbox where you're pissed off and yelling at everybody. And, you know, we've all been there. I'm not, I'm not saying that with judgment. I'm just saying that I don't think that's a very effective way to make change. And yet that's what some of the folks I know who say there's not time for a break are doing. And so I'd rather be more, efficient in my activism rather than burn myself out until I have a breakdown. 